India Today's National Bureau Chief Abhishek Balla, who has covered defense for many years, also with me live. Abhishek, quite unusual. The Ministry of Defense announcing a test of a long range submarine launched ballistic missile from the INS Arihant. You know, we've come a long way from the days of secrecy, haven't we, Abhishek? But first off, what do we know about this test? Well, certainly, Shiv, uh, it's a, a big moment uh, that, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the announcement of uh, this uh, test has been made uh, public uh, by the Indian uh, Ministry of Defense. Uh, such tests uh, are usually, you know, kept in secrecy. Uh, not the case this time. And once again, you know, it's uh, important, Shiv, uh, the, and, and the Ministry of Defense has underlined this, uh, that this is... Uh, purely as a deterrent uh, that uh, the Indian military uh, is carrying out uh, such a test uh, and uh, to ensure uh, that, you know, uh, the, the, the adversary uh, is always a uh, deterrent uh, of, uh, uh, of India being a nuclear power. The fact that uh, INS Arihant has been part of uh, Indian military's arsenal uh, for, for quite a while now, uh, it's important uh, that uh, this test has taken place. Uh, it's taken place in the Bay of Bengal. Uh, what the Ministry of Defense has said that uh, uh, it has ticked all the boxes as far as uh, uh, several parameters are concerned. And uh, in those terms, uh, it's, it's a... It's an extremely uh, significant uh, test that has happened. Uh, just to remind our viewers uh, that, that the uh, INS Arihant, uh, which is a nuclear-capable uh, submarine, is very different from uh, the other conventional submarines that the Indian Navy has. Uh, other, uh, the, the other submarines, you know, are diesel and uh, electric, uh, uh, electrically powered, whereas yes. this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, this has a nuclear reactor, which means uh, it can uh, float... Uh, uh, under the water for a much longer time, in fact for months, uh, and it can also travel uh, much longer than a conventional uh, submarine. And the fact that uh, yes. you know, uh, nuclear warheads uh, can be deployed on this obviously makes it a, an extremely strategic you know, potent You know, Abhishek, uh, the, the INS Arihant, India's nuclear submarine INS Arihant carries two different kinds of missiles. One is called the K-15 you know, which has, a, which has a pretty modest range of about 250 to 300 kilometers. But the missile that we're probably talking about here, we don't know this for sure, and you know, that detail has not yet been revealed by the Ministry of Defense, but there is a much longer range missile that the INS Arihant is armed with, and that is the K-4. K stands for Kalam, uh, FYI to all our viewers, and uh, you know, these missile series has been named in his honor. It's the Kalam-4, or the K-4 missile, is a missile that has a range of about 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers. And Abhishek, that's the real nuclear deterrent inside this submarine. You know, with, with a range of about 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers, uh, you know, this, this, this missile can target, uh, you know, targets, uh, you know, all across China, different parts of the world. It isn't pointed at anybody, but obviously, uh, you know, China will be taking notice of this because this is a submarine-launched ballistic missile. And as we know, Abhishek, the, the sea leg of the nuclear tri triad is said to be the most secretive, the most difficult to detect, and therefore the most lethal. It is uh, definitely secretive, Shiv, and that's the reason why, you know, uh, the kind of missile that's been uh, used in, uh, in this test has uh, not been made public. Uh, but uh, you and I can uh, make an intelligent guess uh, that in all probability this is uh, the upgraded missile uh, that uh, was being developed uh, uh, for many years, which has a range of uh, uh, nearly 4,000 kilometers, uh, much more from uh, the original missile uh, that was uh, deployed on Arihant, which, uh, which, had a, which had a range of 500 to 600 kilometers. So if this is the upgraded uh, uh, you know, range uh, missile that has been launched uh, uh, in this test, uh, it, then it is a big deal. And the fact that this is the Bay of Bengal, uh, the eastern part uh, uh, of uh, India, of course uh, China will be watching very closely.